But we're building this mind, you said. So this well, is so an opportunity, maybe, to in think some this, ways. To right? be able to say, you know, and so um, part of the reason I mentioned earlier that there are sort of two ways to respond to this in some way, and both of them in, in, involve some potential way of sort of fleeing. And again, there's nothing wrong with buying a gun if you feel safe or buying a few extra pieces of toilet paper if you feel sealed. No one is hurt in those two things, and right. it would be wrong to pathologize. And I, when I see people sort of, you know, uh, posting pictures of people with all this toilet paper and we all look down on these people, you know, whatever, <laughs> they're doing the best they can. And if, if, if that's what they got to do, okay, it's they're, they're far worse right. things to right. do than to buy toilet paper. If, as, and the, But we could also offer the possibility that, that uh, if um, – one can begin to think about the world and your 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 place in it in a slightly different way as a result mm-hmm. of what's going on. Yeah, you know, if we want to get existential about it, we could say that suddenly, in the midst of this precariousness, we're aware of the fact that there is a time limit, that there are um, that there's a fragility to all the things around us. Maybe that allows us to invest them in ways that we we haven't before. Mm-hmm. I think mm-hmm. of so many folks I've talked to who. Um, um, their kids are now home because school is closed. Right. And so we're often, we've talked in here before about this tyranny of automaticity and that we can get locked into this sort of groove. And so we go to work, we work, we come home, beat, tired, go to sleep and do it over again. Right. That's and there exactly are these right. small brief moments of interactions with the people around us and little bits and sparks. Suddenly that's been upended. So what if... You, you are you no longer can fall back on the rhythm of automaticity, and now it opens up a space to be with your children in ways you couldn't, or with mm-hmm. others in a way that you couldn't, or right. with yourself in a way that you couldn't. Right. You now are sort of forced to slow down, to think and feel, and I know with that comes terror. I've talked with sure. a number of uh, right. f- m- of my patients this week about to sort of warn them that staying home for a long time often keeps you from engaging in the activities that have distracted you from some of the things you've been struggling with. Right, okay. Depression may find a way to find you. Some anxiety and fear may find a way to to be there. And so we work on how to be able to, as the Buddhists say, invite it in for tea, to become aware of that this is something that you may have been running from. And maybe this is a chance to take a step back, to turn around and face it in some way, and there could be some growth in that. But... To, to warn people that you know if 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 everything's closed for a couple of weeks um my gym is closed right. i'm gonna have to think about you know <clears throat> there is a good chance i'm gonna get if nothing else squirrely but i can also imagine and anticipate that it may make me uh, either anxious or a little depressed suddenly i don't have an outlet right and so there's a possibility of turning to this and facing it and this is where maybe the too much thinking this is not good for everybody right but it gives you a chance to be able to lean into the things that you feel, even the most uncomfortable ones, fear, anxiety, whatever the case may be, and to begin to ask yourself, what is the flavor of this? Where does it come from? What does it mean? Why would this visit me in a moment like this? Right. Why would this be something that I'm afraid of? There's the possibility of beginning to ask yourself and to be able to, if nothing else, fine-tune the narrative you've been living under. Right. Who, uh, where do you come from? Who are you? Where are you going? There's the possibility of being able to ask yourself questions that might move you towards some sort of. Uh, there are no answers with a capital A, but might move you toward the possibility of integrating and understanding those in a way that might broaden whatever narrative you're currently living under. Yeah.